Ladies and gentlemen, the time to crown a new NASCAR Cup Series champion has come. Welcome everybody to Phoenix International Raceway for the final race in the 2021 to 2022 NASCAR Cup Series season. It's been an incredible year and a bit, and now we are ready to conclude it. Now let's take a look at our championship drivers. First off, we have Jimmy Johnson in the 48. He's looking to win his record eighth championship title in his final start. And of course, we have defending champion Chase Elliott. And behind them is Kyle Busch in the 18 and Ryan Blaney in the 12, looking for his first championship. Now let's go down trackside to get a starting command for the final time this season. Drivers, start your engines. Now as the field rolls off, we're going to take a look at our starting lineup. On the front row is the 48 of Jimmy Johnson and his Hendrick teammate Chase Elliott in the 9. Then we have Kyle Busch in the 18 and Ryan Blaney in the 12. In the row 3 is Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Denny Hamlin. Along with Kurt Busch in the 1 and William Byron in the 24. And rounding out the top 10 is Michael McDowell in the 34 and Denny, Matt Kenseth, sorry in the 42. Then we have Kevin Harvick and Joe Logano. Row 7 belongs to Matt Benedetto and Justin Haley. In row 8 is Darrell Wallace Jr. in the 43 and Tyler Reddick in the 8. And we have Brad Keselowski in the 2 and Paul Cross in the 41. Rounding at the top 20 is Martin Truex Jr. and Alex Bowman. Behind them, Daniel Spires in the 96 and Chris Buescher in the 17. You also have Ryan Newman in the 6 and Austin Dillon in the 3. Towards the back is Joey Gaze and Ty Dillon. And we have Christopher Bell in the 95. And Eric Jones in the 20. And rounding it out is Clint Boyer and his teammate Eric Amarola. As we take a look at our race rundown, it's a 19 lap race. We will win the race somewhere around 12 laps and the highest finishing championship contender will be crowned the champion. And the pace car is on pit road and the green flag is in the air. 48 Johnson gets a great start. He's now pulling away from the 18 and Kyle Busch. He's become around the turns three and four to complete the first lap. Johnson is still trying to exit. He could have around. He selects Kevin Harvick hard to the outside wall for the one and the four. Caution is out here on lap two. Let's take a look at the replay back there. Looks like Kurt Busch got out of line with help from the 4 Kevin Harvick. He was able to save it from going into the inside wall, but he tried to come back up in line and oh, Michael McDowell was right there and Harvick had nowhere to go. Tough break for the 4 team and the 1. Kurt Busch will not be returning this year, so this is obviously a bad way to go out. So they will restart with four, la with 2 laps to go in the stage. And Johnson and Ellie will lead us to the green. It's about something wearing the green flag is there. Oh, Johnson does not get going. Ellie passes by and the outside for the lead. And now Kyle Wynn has made away, his way around the 18th to 48 for the lead. One lap to go in the stage. Oh, Ellie goes up the track. He lines Kyle Bush to pass by on the inside. But here comes Johnson to the inside. He takes the lead away. And he's going to hold them off and win the opening stage. Now we're going to take a break, organize any pit stops. And we'll be right back after this for stage two. Be sure to keep it tuned right here. Welcome back. You're watching the 2021 to 2022 NASCAR Cup Series Championship. Before the break, pole sitter Jimmy Johnson took out the stage one win and two drivers got eliminated. It's going to be a five lap shootout to the town the winner of this stage. The leaders are coming up to the dog dog and the green flag is back in the air. Chase Elliott gets a great jump on the inside. He's going to pass his teammate Jimmy Johnson for the lead. As now Kyle Busch has made his way around the 48 for second place. And four laps to go on the stage. Chase Elliott is still trying to open up his gap. No, got a car around turn one and two. It's Tyler Reddick. Caution is out. You're on stage lap two. The A car will be able to continue with minimal damage, but it'll have to go to pit road to repair the damage. Let's take a look at the replay back there. You can see from the replay, it looked like Cole Custer got into the back of Tyler Reddick. He was able to keep his car away from everyone else, but he got a little right side damage. He's going to have to repair that on pit road. There he is now, getting some fresh tires and repairs, as we'll restart with two laps to go on the stage. Let's take a look at where our championship contenders square up. Chase Eye is on the front row and in the pole position. We have Kyle Busch beside him in the second position. Behind them is Jimmy Johnson on the inside second row in third position. And Ryan Blaney, he's a little further back in the field. Back at ninth position, he's going to need some help to get to the front. No pace cars on pit road and the green flag is back in the air. Kyle Busch gets another great start. But Chase is going to be into the back stretch. Down the back stretch they go. Blaney to the inside of Johnson. He takes second away with one lap to go on the stage. 12 car all over the back of the 9, to the inside, Blaney takes the lead away, and he's going to haul them off, 
and win stage two. Now we're gonna take a break to organize the choose wheel along with any pit stops, and we'll be right back after this for the third and final stage where a champion will finally be decided. Welcome back. You're watching the 2021 to 2022 NASCAR Cup Series Championship. Before the break, Ryan Blaney took out the stage two win, beating out Chase Elliott at the very last second. Now we got some pit starts in progress. Looks like Joey Gaze and Ryan Newman are gonna come down and get some fresh tires. As it's gonna be a six lap shootout to determine the winner and the champion after this race. Let's see where our championship contenders line up. Blaney is leading the field with Chase Elliott to his outside. A reminder, if any of our championship drivers win or finish higher than the others, they will be crowned the champion. Jimmy Johnson is behind the 12 and the 9 car in the second, in the third position, sorry. Kyle Busch is a little deeper in the field, back to ninth position. This will be Bush's last ride with the 18, so he wants to go out on a championship. Now let's go racing. Green flag is back in the air. Johnson gets a great start, but he's not quite going to get to back on the 18. There's no kind of Bush is in the picture. Lady Thunder oh, O'Connor. Okay. No, good last into the round. Now we'll bring up the caution with five laps to go. Keselowski looks like he was able to get out of unscathed, but he'll be sent to the rear end of the field. Let's take a look at the replay back there. You can see Brad Keselowski was trying to clear the 17 car of Chris Buescher, but he couldn't quite get there in time. He was able to keep his car away from the wall, but tough break for the two team. As we'll restart with three laps to go in the season. Blaney and Johnson will lead us to the green. If Blaney's in a good position to win his first championship, and Jimmy Johnson is in a good position to win his eighth. A reminder, if he is tied with Richard Petty and Dale Sr., the most NASCAR Cup Series championships. Kyle Busch looking strong in third, as is Chase Elliott in the fifth position. No pace cars pulling up pit road, and the field is approaching the restart zone, and the green flag is back in the air. Jimmy Johnson takes the lead away from Blaney on the outside, coming off the turn two. He opens it up to about a car length and a half with two laps to go. As now Chase Elliott is looking to win the championship from his teammate. Come around to turn four, one lap to go. Elliot all over the back bumper over at 48. To the inside off the turn two, he takes the lead away. Can't be only lost him up. Just to the lead, and he wins his record eighth championship. Let's see how he got it done. Coming off of turn three into the final lap, Chase Elliott locks off the brakes, and Jimmy Johnson wastes no time taking this opportunity to steal the lead from the inside. And look at this effort by Ryan Blaney. He had a good run off of turn four but he was about a car length, a half a car length short of beating the 48 to the line, as Jimmy Johnson will be celebrating his eighth and final NASCAR Cup Series Championship. Congratulations to the 48 team. Let's take a look at our overall race results. All of our championship four drivers finished within the top four. Joe Legano follows closely behind in the fifth position. Austin Dillon has a nice quiet day. He finishes sixth. And Daniel Suarez, seventh place. Guess, guess the rookies are coming forward this year. Ryan Newman has a nice day. He finishes 11th, followed closely by Joey Gaze in the 12th position. And Brad Keselowski in his last ride with the two car finishes 13th. Pretty good. And Eric Amarola has a nice day. He finishes 16th. Tough break for Kurt Busch. This is not how he wanted to go out this year. And Kevin Harvick also had a tough finish. Tough break for him. He, let's hope he does better next year. And in a moment, we're going to take a look at our championship point standings. Jimmy Johnson is your 2021 to 2022 NASCAR Cup Series champion. Brad Kozlowski had a rough season after Darlington. He's Let's hope he does better next year with Roush Fenway. And now Kevin Harvick finishes 15th. Chris Busch, the last of the playoff drivers, finished 16th. Let's hope he does better next time. And as you can see, Clint Boyer is our highest finishing non-playoff driver. Congratulations to him. And as you can see, Matty Benedetto and Justin Haley both had rough seasons. Tough break for both those guys. Let's hope they both do better next year. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this season. Congratulations again to Jimmy Johnson for winning his final race of his career. Season 3 will be coming out in a few months' time. 
Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an act a second of racing action. And until next year, stay safe. I'm Arctic Fox, and I'll see you at the finish line. Stay frosty.